It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So yesterday I got the phone call from Yahoo. Yahoo wants to hire me part time. I'll take it. What choice do I have? I wanted to know once I get full time work if I can still work part time with them if I can work hours that do not interfere with my full-time job, whatever it ends up being. This was the whole thing. And they said yes. So I said, all right. So today, I filled out information so they can run a background check, blah, blah, blah. They think I'll be able to start training next week. We'll see. It's really a shame they couldn't have started the background check already. But that's just not the way it works. It costs money to run background checks. And why would you run a background check on someone who hasn't even accepted a job offer? So, it's official. I have a job. And it pays well enough that I can get by. I can focus on other things. And the nice thing is, is even if I'm only doing this for a while, it gives me time to make money doing other things. I can make money dealing at parties. I can, you know, continue my consignment work on eBay. There's a lot of things that I can do. So... You know, life is grand. I will have to update my profile on YouTube. So it says Yahoo for employer. Technically, I work for Workforce Logic because that is the contracting company that they use. But, you know, whatever. And they offer Kaiser, which means I can get off this stupid Kaiser plan I'm on now that I'm paying 100 bucks a month for, but I'm afraid to lose. It also means I can play hockey again. It means I may try to play in the Monday Night League if I can't play in the Saturday Night League. Although this Saturday, it turns out I get to play in one of the games. So I will get to play a little hockey, and that's very exciting. I will be going all out. Uh, I mean, that's really the big news. Let's see. Last night, KSU station meeting. I brought spice cake that my uncle gave me from his birthday, and there's about half of it left now, so that's exciting. So I still have to eat the other half which I suppose I will at some point, but, you know, hooray for cake. But, uh, let's see, there's one other thing. Oh, yes, I had a big interview yesterday. Talk about that when I know more. If you read between the lines and you watch the show, you know where I was at yesterday. Just like I said on yesterday's episode. Can't talk about it yet. So, it's suddenly September. I don't know when that happened. But I've been running around crazy with job interviews Monday, Tuesday, Sunday reviewing music for the music meeting and going and visiting my uncle and getting that cake and Saturday having uh working at the party uh at the dealing at the at the like the the poker tournament and and lots of other things. I have all kinds of things written here. I had to accept an offer on eBay, not a job offer, but someone ordered uh someone won some someone made an offer of something on eBay and I decided to sell it to them. I don't know whether they've paid yet, I have to check. But uh, there's just, I mean, if you look at the 29th of my calendar, it's just scribble, scribble, scribble. There's just all kinds of shit on there. And now today I'm finally going to start reading the newspaper. I've got to go to the storage unit. I have to mail like four days worth of eBay packages. I always send things the next day. It's why my DSRs are so high. But I've been busy getting a job, man. That's important shit. I haven't been on Facebook either, but, you know, maybe today will be the day for that too. But, you know, the most important thing is tonight I'll be... KSCU, 9 to midnight Pacific, go to kscu.org and you can listen to me play stuff. It will be grand. Uh, there's new music to play this week and it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie Part 3 was added yesterday and I think Part 3 of the first act is the best so far. Uh, if you're into video game humor, you should check it out. It's, uh, it's pretty good. And I was objectifying Luigi's girlfriend Peach, you know, from Super Mario Land. You need to, if you mean, for you pervs out there, you should watch part three, because Peach is very attractive. Not Peach, Daisy. Daisy is in Super Mario Land. Peach was not in part three, but she was on the phone, and Mario and Peach broke up, which is some kind of foreshadowing, except it already happened, so it's like reverse foreshadowing. Uh, I believe that Peach and Mario, the real people that play them, were actually dating when the Stupid Mario Brothers was new, and then they broke up. And then she wasn't in the show anymore, but she was in the movie. But then now they're kind of broke up in the movie, so that was nice of them, you know. But a Daisy, yes. Looking good in yellow. That's, not, that's all I'm saying. So look up the Stupid Mario Brothers movie on YouTube. Watch part three. 
Ogle, Daisy, laugh at the references to video games and things like that. It'll be great. Not a lot of keywords in this episode. Let me think if there's anything else. Let's see. I didn't, I didn't watch TV yesterday. It, wow, it was it was one of those days where there was just so much stuff to do, but there wasn't a lot I could talk about. I'll come up with keywords. I promise. Um, let's see. Let's see. Hey, look! It's an iron! How's that? Oh, actually, wait, I know. My girlfriend went to the grocery store yesterday. See, I didn't have time, so she went. So I have grocery store highlights that I didn't even do. She got me Newman's own pasta sauce. Look at that. Paul Newman has a little kiss on his face because it's sweet onion and roasted garlic. There we go. Now I've got keywords. So at the time we have today, visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.